All right, so these are the tips that I'm going to be using today. I've been wanting to use these, but well, you know what? I used them once on my practice hand, but I never used them on myself. So I'm going to do some extra long tips. I'm going to be doubling these up today. For my thumbs, I needed a zero. The company sent me two number ones instead of a zero and a one. So I'm going to have to make the one work. I had already prepped my nails. So let's go ahead and apply the tips on. See, I would like it to come over some. It's kind of too small, but that's okay. And I feel like this pinky is too big, but this is a number nine. And this is the smallest that came in the pack. So I'm just going to have to follow sides. All right. So next one, you, um, what you want to do is take your drill. And we're going to file off the shine so we can stick the second nail on. Okay. So when you're going to double your tip, I went down a few sizes down. I think this is at number eight that I'm using. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's a number eight. And I'm still going to foul, you know, the sides. So to clip the sides, I'm just going to use my clippers. It's just a straight edge. And then I'm going to the side and so I don't have to do so much fouling.
Okay, so I had to file these na nails off camera because I had to bring them close to my face to get it right. This one here, I made a mistake and cut it a little bit too far over, but that's okay. That's nothing. I could just put a little acrylic over there and that'll fix that. So this is what they look like. I followed them the best that I could because they were bending. So I know, and I couldn't really support it like I wanted to. So I know when I put the acrylic on and I follow it, it's going to come together. But I had to bring you guys up some so you can get a full look at them. So now what I'm going to do is file where both of the nails meet. And that's right here. Okay, so for this one here, I'm just going to do rhinestones on it. So I'm just going to polish it and polish it. I'm just going to put natural powder on this one. I don't want to do no color acrylic on this now. I think I'm going to start right here. look at it from the side see I have a little dip there and I have a dip here I'm gonna fix that that's what she looks like y'all it is so long look at this okay so now I'm going to move on to the middle finger which the only thing I want to do is get down here so I'm just gonna be using this nude pink So next I'm going to be putting some clear on my natural nails so these colors won't stay in my nail. I'm just going to put a little thin layer.
Okay, so I filled in the side with some acrylic. And that's what it looks like after. So we're gonna move on to, I'm trying to think, I guess this one. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with this gold glitter. This gold is so pretty. I bought this from the um, nail supply store. I didn't mix this myself. Okay, so I feel like being a little extra today, so I'm going to add this glitter too on the pinky. I'm just going to go into the clear first, and then I'm going to lightly dip the brush into the glitter. All right, you guys, I'm going to encapsulate and follow these nails off camera, and I'll be right back so we can um, top coat them and put the rhinestones on. All right, you guys, so I filed them. I encapsulated them off camera, and this is what they look like. These things are so heavy to me. <laughs> um, after this video, I think I'm going to file them down. I just wanted to practice, and I just wanted to try to do the the double tips 
but I don't think that I can do my daily, you know, stuff I do at home as far as washing dishes and washing and folding clothes. I can't. I'm not used to them having them this long. So we're going to add. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna be using my real Swarovskis. I'm just gonna use some regular rhinestones on this because, like I said, I'm gonna be cutting these down, and I'm not gonna waste. And I have plenty in here, so. I'll take some of this size out. I don't need that much. And I'll take some of this size out. The glue that I'm going to use today is Mia Secret. It's time for me to order another Zule because my Zule glue is thick. So let's go ahead and bling this nail out. And also, I feel like the ring finger is a little bit crooked. I'll lean into the side, but that's okay. This is my first time doing this. And even though these are not the real Swarovskis, I'm gonna leave the link down below from the company I get them I get them from. They're not the real deal, but they're really nice if you don't wanna spend all that money on the real ones. You could just get these. Okay, so now I'm going, the top coat I'm using today is from, it's the Shine E, I think, uh, the E Nail Couture, if I'm not mistaken. All right, you guys, so this is the finished look of the nails. I went on and cured them for the two minutes. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. Now, I'm gonna try to wear these nails for the rest of the day. I'm gonna see if I'm gonna make it. If not, they will be coming off. But thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye, catch me in my next.